Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good evening, sister. Special welcome to our viewers on social media. The Mass intention this evening is for Peter Zarias for healing requested by Angie Zarias. This week's sanctuary candle is burning for birthday blessings for Randy and Ro, requested by Mary Roberts. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. Whatsoever you do to the list of our brethren, we do unto Jesus. When we do not give to our less fortunate brothers and sisters, we also deprive ourselves from receiving blessings from God. If we do not answer the prayers of the poor, the Lord does not answer our prayer. If one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. When we love the poor, we love a part of our own body. The Lord promises, happy is he who has regard for the lowly and the poor. In the day of misfortune, the Lord will deliver him. Let us ask our Lord today to give us the grace we need to lavishly give to the poor. Please stand and welcome our celebrant, Reverend Father Anthony Abraham, Deacon Peter Lawrenson, Acolyte Hayden Smith, Lector Charlie Roddy. Our entrance hymn number 736 in the Word and Song, 736, Praise God from whom all blessings flow. From all that will be all the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Sisters and brothers, as we gather together as church, we are ever mindful that God is holy, that He calls you and me to a life of holiness. We know very often we have failed the Lord and we have failed each other. Let us now pause for a while to call to mind all our sins and to ask God's mercy and his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A 
reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haunty eyes and proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plan of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over the deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbors finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Rise, be to God. Uh, the responsorial psalm. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide, Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinance before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discriminant that I may observe your law, your law, and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My mother and my brothers are those who hear the Word of God and act on it. 
With this statement, Jesus is inviting each and every one of us to be a part of his family. He does not limit his family to, to only those closest to him, Mary and the apostles, but encourage everyone to join his family by acting on the word of God. We must trust God in good, we must trust in God, words, and act in a way that reflects and truth and truth. So, Mr. Smitty is the only one who is older than all of us here. And I want to ask Mr. Smitty, what happens when he hears the word of God? What effect or what change does it make to him when he hears the word of God, Mr. Smitty? Amen. Mr. Smitty said it gives him a joy in his heart. Anyone else? Amen. Auntie Mary? Feel good. Feel good. Yes. God dwell on the word of God. Sometimes we get parishioners when they hear the priest's words, they say to outside people in the church, of the church, that the priest is throwing words for them. Is that really true? No. No. It's not. Sometimes when the priests preach, the priests hit the nail so hard, the person in the, pure, in the chair or in the pulpit thinks that the priest is throwing words for them. Sometimes you hear someone in the congregation say, tell them father. No, it's not supposed to be tell them father. It's supposed to say, tell us father. True or false? Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we should not only hear, we should not only be hearers of the word of God, we must also do the word of God. We must obey the word, however imperfect our obedience is that what a disciple does. This requires faith. Those who believe continue to hear God's word in faith and then apply it with faith. They are trusting that God is going to work through their efforts. Acting on the word of God is proof of our faith in God. Mm -hmm. Many people believe but lack the action of their faith. For our faith to obedient result, it must be followed by action. Faith without work is dead, just as the body without the spirit is dead. And that's in James 2, 26. Brothers and sisters, to truly join Jesus' family, it takes more than just believing Jesus. God is calling all of us to make a decision to join His God, to join God's family through action. We need to hear what God says and act on it. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Let us stand as we come before a God who loves us and a God who invites us to make our needs known to Him. Confident in faith, we now present all our prayers and petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our newly apostolic administrator, as Bishop Wills. Wilton George Gregory as he leads and guides our diocese we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers. we pray for Bishop Herbert Bavard for healing we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers. for the church that we may strive always to conduct ourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayers. we pray for all we pray for God's healing for all those on our sick list. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For political leaders at every level, that they may be compensated. Sorry. For political leaders at every level, that they may be compassionate to those who are most vulnerable, to those who have been overlooked or forgotten. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who work in fields, on farms, and in vineyards, harvesting the food we eat, that they may be rewarded generously for their labor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our parish community may invite and welcome others at all times with the generosity modeled by the landowner in today's gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the prayers that we hold deep within our hearts, that they may be united with the prayers of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and all the saints who stand before the throne of the Lamb. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the repose of the soul of Garnet Mahoney, and for all those who die, that their soul will find rest in Christ. For all those who mourn the loss of a loved one, we ask Our Lady of Mount Carmel, with St. Therese and all the saints to intercede for them as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We now sing from the handout, Cry of the Poor. The Lord is the cry of the poor. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands, for the grace and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offering of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy, Heavenly, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to you, your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal being with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you are set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Dominic and Garnet, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand at, this, at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching as we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <laughs> And you say, we know this fate at a moment, misery reign no peace. And you say, we know this fate at a moment, misery reign no peace. And you say, Sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion hymn number 757 in the Word and Psalm 757. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
When on a sick bed, you care for my needs. Now enter into the room of my father. What do I Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome our sister and our sister. We want to welcome you, yes. I am just loving it out here. <laughs> People of God, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and every member of your family, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass has ended. Let us go forth. Thanks be to God. A recessional hymn, O oh, when the saints. O oh, when the saints. Oh, my